Hello luxury watch lovers! In this channel, I cover the background, fundamental design features and things to consider before buying your watch. If you have a luxury watch that you'd like me to cover, let me know in the comments below. In today's video, we're going to cover the Zin 556i. Zin has a long history of making high quality, readable pilot's watches. The Zin 556i is a modern take on the company's vintage cockpit clocks. It's designed to withstand damage, be easily readable, and look good in practically any setting. Zinn is without a doubt one of the most well-known watch brands among collectors. It's a collector's favorite, especially among those who enjoy tool watches. Zinn is highly favored by military watch collectors because of its excellent craftsmanship and engineering. Zinn produces only modern classics like no other brand with an unbeatable flair. The Zinn 556 is one of its most popular models. In this video, we'll delve deeper into what makes it so unique. We'll go through every feature of the Zinn 556i and why it's so popular compared to its predecessor. In comparison to other watchmakers, Zinn is a relatively new brand. However, the company was formed in 1961 by Helmut Zinn, a veteran World War II pilot and flight instructor. The company was known as Helmut Zinn Specialurin at the time. The Frankfurt headquarters made navigation clocks and pilot chronographs. As a result, making tool watches as they do today isn't far from the company's main business. Helmut Zinn sold the company to Lothar Schmidt, a former IWC director in 1994. Schmidt is a licensed engineer as well, and as a result bought the company. He not only started a massive reorganization, but also boosted the company's technological advancements. The company was also renamed to Zinn Specialurin GmbH under Schmidt's leadership. The the business had already made a reputation for itself in the German watch market by the 1980s. The 140S was one of the brand's most notable achievements at the time. Dr. Reinhard Führer, a German astronaut and scientist, wore the watch on the D1 Space Lab mission. This demonstrated that the watch's self-winding mechanism works even when the watch is weightless. It was merely the beginning of Zinn Watch's journey into space. The Zinn 556i and 556a are two variations of the device with small but significant variances. Firstly, the dial finish on the 556i is more glossy than the 556a's. It has a wonderful shine that gives the watch dimensions, whether it's black or blue. The black dial provides more style options, while the Zinn 556a, on the other hand, has a matte dial. Secondly, both watches are compatible with a stainless steel or leather bracelet. You can also replace it with a NATO strap for more comfort and a better fit. Both watches are unquestionably excellent military timepieces, but the 556i stands out for its versatility. The Zinn 556i is a practical watch, but also functions really well as a dress watch because of its clear display. So what are the most important design features? Zinn has a satinized brushed stainless steel casing of 38.5 millimeters in diameter and 11 meters in height. The fixed bezel is brushed stainless steel. We're looking at a lug to lug of 46 millimeters and a 20 millimeter distance between the lugs. Powering this watch is the popular ETA Caliber 2824-2 automatic self-winding mechanical. It is recognized as a workhorse and perhaps one of the most well-known and most recognized movements in the watch industry. It beats at 28,800 vibrations per hour, allowing for 38 hours of power reserve. The watch has a sapphire crystal on both sides, showing off its beautiful face as well as allowing for an exhibition display of the movement. The classic dial lights up with its Swiss Superluminova C3. It has a water resistance of up to 200 meters, so please feel free to jump in the pool or ocean with it. It also has a snazzy signed screw down crown. So, what would a good quality watch like this cost? Well, you can expect to pay about $1,080. Here are a few things to consider before buying the Zinn 556i. Starting with number one, the dial feature. Glass dials have the unfortunate side effect of making the watch less legible. Its common impact is to draw the eye away from the content. The Zinn 556i dial, on the other hand, should be viewed in a different light. 
When we say it has a gloss dial, we're referring to the fact that it has a dynamic dial that makes it an exquisite pick. The dial's blackness draws you in, allowing you to view all the information at once. When it comes to the indices, the Zin 556i dial reduces the chase by over 100% when compared to comparable dials. And with this watch's dial, there's really nothing to figure out. So on the dial, there are simply two markings. To begin, you'll receive a giant white rectangle every hour or five minutes. A smaller white marker for the individual minutes, if you can call it that. It isn't distracting, but it isn't overbearing either. As you can see, this watch is nothing more than these markings. In some way, it's quite simple, which is one of the things we like about the Zen 556i. For some markers, there are no duplicate lines or triangles, and no further size is involved. They all seem very clean and very white against the black dial. The only difference is that the marker is a little shorter at 3 o'clock to allow room for the date window, which is also extremely visible in a plain white on black design. And this watch's markers all include loom, so you don't have to worry about losing track of time in the dark. Inscriptions don't overwhelm the dial thanks to the well-balanced markings. The words written on the dial aren't particularly impressive. The Zin logo appears first just below 12 o'clock. The term automatic appears just above 6 o'clock. The 6 o'clock marker is sandwiched by a tiny made in Germany sign. All of these are well considered in terms of size and thickness. Even the kerning gives the impression that the letters can breathe. They are large enough to draw attention while still being slim enough not to appear too bulky. The hands are also proportionate to the dial as expected. They are big, but not so massive that they take up all the dial space. The hands have loom from edge to edge, and the anchor points of the hands are matte black to match the dial. The loom of the 556i isn't particularly stunning according to many users, but it's forgiven due to the watch's other qualities. Moving on to number 2, the case. Zinn is well known in the industry for its cases, as we have previously stated. The company is the only one in the world with its case factory in Glosshut, Germany. The watch's dial must be balanced, which necessitates a large case. It is proportionally great, especially as a tool watch. The Zinn 556i has a diameter of 38.5mm and 11mm thick. It's rather impressive, especially for a tool watch. The watch features 20mm lugs, making it appear more compact. Overall, given the Zinn 556i's 200m water resistance, it's a fantastic case for a powerful watch. When viewed from above, the watch has an extremely cylindrical center case. Its sides, on the other hand, are slab style. Furthermore, the lugs are tapered and have a flat finish. The chamfered bezel is likewise wide and adds weight to the case. It's a fantastic addition to the watch's size. The screw-down crown is guarded and large enough to utilize, but not excessively so. It has coin edges for a secure grip and a Zin S emblem on the tip. An exhibition case back is included with this watch. The display is protected by a sapphire crystal, which allows you to see the ETA 2824-2 movement that drives the watch. So although too many people don't rave over the design, it's really sophisticated on the casing. The crown screw down construction also contributes to the watch's water resistance. The watch's pristine finish is one of our favorite features. It denotes that the watch's brushed and polished finishes are uniformly distributed. It's in the middle, so it looks sophisticated but not overbearing. It looks robust enough as a tool watch, but with its finish, it's also a terrific dress watch to wear to formal gatherings. The lugs are also drilled, making it simple to remove and replace the strap. If you prefer a clean looking watch, this might not be your option, but it is a tool watch, so the ability to change the strap is very useful. Furthermore, the anti-reflective coating on both sides of the sapphire crystal aids legibility. You won't have to struggle to discover a way to access the information you require. With that said, there appears to be no crystal covering the dial. It's that spotless. However, please note to be cautious when wearing the watch because it is easily discolored. Shaking things up with number three, the movement. 
The popular ETA Caliber 2A24-2 is at the heart of this timepiece. This well-known movement is also regarded as a workhorse. It has been a favorite among watchmakers since its introduction in 1982. And it's no wonder why, with a power reserve of roughly 38 hours, vibrating at 28,800 times an hour. Coming in at number four, the bracelet. This watch comes with a variety of strap options. However, it appears that the Zin 556i in the black leather strap is the most popular option. It simply works well with the black dial and blurs the distinction between a tool and a dress watch. Due to its nature, many individuals also wear this watch with a NATO strap. After all, it's a tool watch, so pairing it with a fabric strap is a no-brainer for outdoor pursuits. Of course, you can wear it with a stainless steel Zin 556i bracelet. That's a really nice option for a sophisticated casual atmosphere as well. The watch has the advantage of looking good no matter what the occasion is, and changing the straps makes it a lot easier. Getting handy with number five, a tool watch that stands out. It's difficult to argue with facts. One of the best tool watches on the market is the Zin 556i. The watch's simplicity is, in my opinion, its main selling feature. The absence of numbers and the well-balanced dial against the dark shiny dial pays off handsomely. It may be lacking in loom, but it more than makes up for it in other ways. It boasts excellent water resistance and a strong movement that allows for accurate readings. But the watch can only be as good as you treat it at the end of the day. So will you use it for sporting capabilities or for aesthetic qualities? In any case, it's a fantastic pick for a timepiece, especially coming from Zinn. Lastly, let's light it up with number six, the loom effect. Loom is a term used to describe the luminous phosphorescent illuminating solution used on watch dials. For a sports watch, the loom on the Zin 556i is quite good. I'm not sure what formula was used because it's not specified anywhere, but I'm guessing it was a Swiss Super Luminova C3. And although it doesn't last very long, the loom is very bright at first. So this wraps up my review of Zin 556i. Thank you for tuning in and let me know what you think of the Zin 556i. I really appreciate you watching this video. Nothing helps my channel more than you watching until the very end. If you enjoy this type of content, let me know in the comments below what other watches you think deserve their own video. And remember, time is your greatest asset.